Battle control initialized. Hello there, comrades and cannon fodder. It's Devoid here. I've got a 1v1 multiplayer game. And the map we're on is Jungle Boogie version 3. Um, it's a large map, this one. A good size. And I like the tile set, the colour scheme and the trees and everything. I like that. Um, I'll show you, just without the shrouds, show you what the map looks like. And I like the trees look cool. You know, I really like the look of this uh, these this tile set. The maps. There's a few maps I know that are like this in this style. And um, I really like the way it looks. Very nice. And uh, yeah, you can get a sense of the size of this map look. It's a good one, all right. And we've got some oil derricks. And they are quite far apart. Uh, there's one here. And there's one here. So my opponent... He's um, he's going to this one and this one. He's got an engineer. Hey, all right, yeah, I see what he's doing. He's going for this closest one, thinking that I'm going to go for this one first because it's closest with my engineer. What I should have done was do that and capture this because it's the closest and earn from it, but secure this one at the same time with my infantry. That's what I should have done. He's guarding this one. Yeah, interesting. Let's see uh, how many soldiers. My opponent's got 12. I've got 18. I think I sent my, right, my engineer. Yeah, there he is. He's on a shift command there, but there's no one shift command to escort him, sadly. And my opponent is waiting. He's actually captured that. Very nice. That's a good idea. Rather than going for your own, go for the enemies first. And secure your own. Because his base will protect this one. He's close enough to it. And this, these guys, there's seven there or something protecting that. Oil Derek there. Yeah, my engineer's on his own. I don't do this normally, but this is a new map to me, and this was long distance. I wasn't wasn't thinking. I mean, it'd be easy to send one rifle to guard that. So where are these guys going? They're leaving. I should I could have waited a moment, but yeah, that will make me look bad to any. You know, if I was again playing against someone. And um, I was near their closest oil, Derek, and they did that. I'd be thinking, all oh, right, OK. We don't really have to go hammer down on this one. Hopefully I'll catch his engineer as well. Oh, no, it's shift commanded to move this way. After It looks like it's going after my, <clears throat> excuse me, my other oil, Derek. Very nice. That's my closest rifle guard, but I probably won't notice that. And this was waiting for him to come back with the engineer, and he didn't. He's gone forward. These two rifles here were waiting for him. A rifle guard's been killed here. And there we go. I've uh, attacked this oil derrick. There's only a couple of rifles protecting it, so I can overrun that. No problem. My opponent's got a 5,000 value army. I've got 3,700. It looks like he's got a good attack on my ore trucks here. But I have got units prepared. Yeah, I ordered it away, but it was too late. Now I'm bringing my light tank in for screening, but those rockets have made very short work of it. But I've held off that attack. I lost an ore truck, but if I'm uh, like as quick as I think I am and I want to get used to, I'll show you. This should be a mechanic. There, there, there he is. Takes nine seconds to train a mechanic. There he is. So I want to protect, uh, pr repair my ore truck lock. There you go. I couldn't have made it, like, it must have just made it just in time. There couldn't have been much time left there, surely. 
uh, but he can repair it back to full health. So I thought I'll leave this mechanic next to the refinery here because I know the ore truck's going to go there so he can get a few repair ticks as it's passing. Now I've got my second MCV and then my opponent's here in the middle. Need to get this shroud back so I can focus on where all the units are now things are developing. And these guys are in the wrong position. I'm thinking of an attack from that way, but that's not the case anymore. They need to be back here. He hasn't got any vehicles with these guys, but he's doing a push forward. He's taking the right ore patch because rather than take this one, take the forward one, and I, he can fall back here if he, if he needs to. I've placed a refinery down here. Uh, there's my opponent's engine here sat there. In fact, I remember it seeing it. Yeah, I got my tank out of there just in time. But he's backing away and bringing reinforcements. That's a smart thing. I've got an MCV with me there. I don't think I'm going to have much luck. By the looks of this attack, he's going to bring his units in. Look, and he's got more. Plus, I'm the attacker. So, this is going badly. I've got no tanks screening my troops. Flamethrowers are being poured on. That's very nice. But not for my troops, sadly. So, let's just look at the army values now. Uh, 5,000 army value to me. 12,000 to 900 to my opponent. 13,000 to my opponent. I'm still on five and a half. Uh, right, I've got to send my other MCV up here, my spare, my second one, to get the expansion set up. Let's just have a quick look at the economy situation. My opponent's low on cash. I'm not too bad at the moment. Well, he's got a, a force here. He's got some heavy tanks. And um, obviously I'm using France for this game. My opponent's using Russia. So um, maybe I should have used uh, Russia myself, my faction. I don't think he chose Russia. I could be wrong. Maybe he went any, but I, um, I think... I'm not sure, to be fair. I'm not certain. I can't remember. But I chose allies, and I shouldn't have done by the looks of this. Right, there's a couple of spare refineries set up. Need to get some of my ore trucks to them, look get working on those fresh ore patches and he's hit me here. I should have fake structures set up but I didn't invest in them. I should have done. Look how quickly the refineries burn when you've got flamethrowers. And I'm moving my tanks up ahead. Keep my units screened. Add base defences to the situation and the enemy units won't like it. They won't like that one bit. So he's at 13,000 value army. I'm at 8,000. I'm churning out tanks. Yeah, I've put my construction yard up here. Hopefully they won't run into anything. Any of my stuff. Hopefully they won't notice it. I placed it here to try and place a shady refinery there. Rather than placing it here and being obvious. 15,000. 16,000 army value to my opponent. 13,000 to me. I've caught up a little bit. And we've got another... Uh, yeah, there you go. There's my refinery. And he's going to see that. That's a shame, it'll tell you. That's a shame. And the tanks aren't screening adequately. That was a shame. I lost that. That was a good army. I didn't need to lose that. They were just sat in the open there doing nothing of, of mo nothing much, really. And I've got no ore down here. I need to harvest this. Oh, look, that's going to have to retreat. The machine gun is killing a lot of troops, though. That's nice. That's nice. Did its job. See how quickly flamethrowers destroy buildings. They're really effective. And I've mined out this ore patch mostly. I'd leave one ore truck on it and get the other two out of there. Yeah, that's what I'm doing there. Now, this ore truck, he needs to escape, but I don't think I noticed this. If I'd noticed, that's where I'd be setting up. Um, here, I'd get, I'd set it up and use a barracks to repair that bridge. And this is to tell me if I'm being pursued. 
My opponent's got a 21,000 value army. I've got 13,000 value army. He's got aircraft now. So that's a nice advantage for him. And he's got V2s. So I'm in trouble. And my expansions aren't yielding loads. Plus that one's run out. I could I need one harvester there, but or truck, but the enemy, you know, look, I know he's in the area. There's an aircraft, he's spotting my units, showing him what's going on. But I'm bringing my MCV forward, I need to set up an expansion. And look, we've got an attack on here. Doesn't look like he's going to push a lot because he's just, yeah, he's using his V2s to snipe. He's going for my war factory. Yeah. I'm repairing it, but I'm in trouble here. There's uh, his aircraft. Yes, he got it. That was a nice shot. You know, I, I, it was a really bad thing for to happen to me. It was a very good shot because I, I can't produce tanks now. I've got my service depot, but at a point I really need to build refineries. I'm going to be replacing my um, war factory instead. But here you go, there's an engagement here and I've got tanks in my favour. And there's a few troops, but that was a nice strafe. Luckily a tank absorbed some, but here we go. I've won that engagement. I don't know how I managed it with all those elements against me, aircraft, artillery, base defences, a larger enemy army, but I managed it. I think it was control of those medium tanks that, you know, just worked. And when I split up this retreating force, I thought, I'll go and destroy the artillery. Get them finished off, because uh, they can be lethal. They have just sniped my war factory. My opponent's at 12,000 army value, I'm at 10,000. Yeah, I think I've just lost my MCV. Oh no, there it is, sorry. There it is. And he's attacked here, but I'm using my buildings for view range, and I know I've got the advantage advantage here, even though I've only got one tank. It needs to be up front, but it's badly damaged. And the pillboxes will dissuade him from continuing. He's got no vehicles, so he, he can't can't push into that and I can pursue this force if I need to but uh, let's have a look at production I am building my war factory but there are some wrecks there I've not been employing uh, mechanics as much I thought I thought I was you know, small enemy attack forces returned that looks like a spy plane yep He's checking out this expansion. And I've got spies there now, look, because I've got my uh, radar dome. I've got my war factory back. This small force can be dealt with. They are dangerous because they've got a flamethrower on that, but... I can attack. There's my artillery piece. He'll deal with them nicely. It just splatters troops, they do. They're lovely. Look at that. Two shots and there's only two guys left standing. But I've turned my spies into enemy units, look. You see, now they're enemy rocket troops, my spies. I've disguised them. And I prefer to disguise spies as my own infantry. So that when the enemy sees one of my riflemen in the area, even, um, heading for a refinery, it's only a rifleman and it doesn't matter. But if he sees one of his own units heading for a refinery and he can't control it, he knows that's a spy and he'll go out of his way to stop it, even selling the refinery. But my a rifleman of the enemy, it won't, won't matter. And especially if it's mixed in with other units, he won't have a clue there's a spy there. That's the idea. However, in this case, I am using them as enemy infantry just because... I wanted to try that, and, you know, it's uh, it's a different way of doing it. I wanted to try it. He killed two spies with a crashed plane. That's a rip-off. Need to see the economy. I've got cash, and my opponent hasn't, so the infiltration was useless. But my artillery piece is opening up on his radar dome. And I've uh, got screening of screening force here. Now this force will defeat these guys who are attacking. 
because I've got artillery, tanks, infantry, base defences. He has got no hope. And here I can just stand off and finish the uh, radar dome lock because I don't want him building tech units. I don't really like that. Another round will do it. There we go. Now I'm attacking the construction yard. And he opened up with his Yak aircraft and it, he did on the artillery. It didn't kill it. That's it. He finished it off with his last burst. But I've got the construction yard. So that's quite nice. Here's some more spies. And it looks like they're disguised as his units. Yeah, as a rule I don't do that. But my construction yard, look, is, he's bumped into it with his small attack force. So he got lucky there. But I've placed a pillbox to cover my escape. Ouch, he destroyed it. That's nice. Um, let's see. Yeah, he destroyed that. But I've got a force here. So these guys are going to destroy the oil derrick. But there's this husk, so fingers crossed I'm working on a mechanic. Look, I've got a small attack force there for a bit of distraction value and to scout what's going on, but yeah, they're not going to do much. And the husk will be gone, which is strange. Oh no, it's still there, look. But I won't be capturing it now, it's too late. <coughs> And there's the enemy MCV. He's placed a refinery to harvest these gems. That's very nice. And I've got an MCV. That's my home base MCV. So I wasn't building at that point. But I had no choice but to move out. I'll be producing another, I'm, sh I'm assuming. But here, I went for an eco raid here. And um, look, I didn't see anything. I'm thinking there's nothing there. But I'm moving out and I missed that by the looks of it. I, You know, it's it's not visible. Look, that would have been nice to get that. And if it packed up and tried to get away, I could have destroyed it and taken it with a, a mechanic, possibly. Might not have had time. But there's another MCV for me. I've got artillery and a tank there at base. Here's an MCV, so I need to set up my... Um, set up uh, my expansions quickly. Here's an eco raid. Don't think the enemy's got any money worth stealing, to be fair. But here's an eco raid. I've got his ore trucks wiping them out nicely. There's a few dead. And this tank is going to get this one by the looks of it. I've destroyed his oil, Derek. And here's um, an MCV going for an expansion. Small force protecting my base, and here's a small raid, but these guys should have backed away. They're being wasted by the looks of it. I shouldn't have done that. Because the best thing about your medium tanks is their mobility, and the way that you've got an armoured unit that can get around so quickly, but um, it can avoid infantry it's, and get around quickly, but you can't just leave them there like that and waste them. They have to move from one ore patch to another, looking for enemy... Or, or trucks and stuff. You know, you don't leave them just to get firing at infantry like that. That was a shame to waste four tanks like that. That was a real shame. And now he's got a 20,000 army value. I'm at 13. Nice. Strafes and crashes. Very nice. Uh, here's a spy. I'm disguising it as my own troops because that's the best thing to do. Um, see if we get any decent credits out of it. Yeah, 717. So he had about a grand and a half nearly. But there, I've produced another spy. He got picked off, but the enemy are coming for my expansion. I got the plane because I've set up anti-aircraft guns, but look. I need to stop doing that. That's two spies wasted. Such a shame. But he caught out this expansion, so I'm retreating with all the assets I can. And that is still there. Such a shame. I could have infiltrated and used an engineer, captured, and done the chokehold on his refinery. It's such a shame that I wasn't aware, but I think my, I shouldn't have used France, because 
it's um it was an opponent i wasn't i wasn't aware of my opponent how good they were so in future i'm going to use my decent faction unless it's a, a practice session with france but yeah if i'm unsure of my opponent i should um use my um reliable faction that i'm consistent with which is russia that's what i should be doing but this game is uh, a very good game for practice with allies you know the long game practice is invaluable but that sort of mistake I, I you know with russia i'd be more comfortable look he's caught my mcv trying to retreat and it got blocked by my own rocket trooper and it can't escape the guns of those uh, heavies look destroyed but i've caught his force strung out in front of me so I think with artillery, I'm confident here. Those tanks will hold him. Flamethrowers aren't that effective against tanks, but blimey, he's destroying things all right. But my artillery has dealt with that situation. My mechanic has brought the MCV back to life, so I've repaired that. And then I can hopefully uh, use mechanics to get some other assets, vehicles perhaps. But there's the MCV, I've got that. See, there's a heavy tank there, a heavy tank there, a medium tank there. There's three heavy, four heavy tanks. You know, I should have got them. But I was obviously happy with the husk of the MCV. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame for me not to have noticed that. Right next to a barracks. I mean, what more sign do you need that that's the time to build a mechanic? I, I, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that at all. Look, the strafes were all absorbed by the tank at the front. So they were all wasted. And he didn't get any artillery. He still didn't. That's a shame for him. That's a shame, that. But he's got a decent force here. There's a spy being killed. I'm losing value in expensive infantry. But look, there's the artillery doing its job. But I haven't got a force strong enough to stop these tanks. Four artillery pieces, look. Overrun. Three left. Soon to be two. But he's doing his business with those shots still. Even to the moment he died, his very last shot, he was still killing nicely, that artillery piece. These tanks are going onto this eco patch to uh, destroy an ore truck. But there's um, an engineer. I was planning um, to do captures and infiltrations and stuff. So uh, it just, yeah, it turned against me. And, yeah, let's just look at the eco. Uh, he's got no cash, but I have. But I think my production was um, messed up at some points. Uh, infantry primarily, it was infantry. At one particular point, I think, I'm not sure... V2s are now destroying this group of units. Yeah, I've got rid of it. It's a decent little force. Three tanks and a couple of V2s with um, an, an okay group of infantry. I'm dealing with the aircraft okay. That's going to keep my opponent's money, you know, strained if he keeps producing aircraft. But it, they, they are very useful. They're showing him where I am and that. What more do you need? Yeah, there it goes. Trade. But he's probably happy to. Yes, barracks problem. I should have seven as well. Yeah, not enough infantry mass to stop for that screen to work. My screen was okay of tanks. Now the MCV's retreating yet again. I've got a helipad. And I've built anti-aircraft defences in uh, key locations. There's one here, and uh, there's one up there as well. Here we go, the enemy's attack. Uh, yeah, look, there's no production of infantry. There you go. That's what I was talking about during an attack and I'm distracted and busy trying to use my artillery and stuff and destroy these tanks. And I've got my hands full up trying to use 
uh, all trucks for screening just to buy some time for more artillery shots and to get these tanks dealt with but I need uh, rocket troop production to deal with these tanks because they've got me now look artillery two v2s and a group of seven heavy tanks that's enough and it now look he's broken my defenders but I've got two helicopters I just wasn't aware that I had them but they could deal with the v2s quickly there you go it's cutting through my base nicely that pillbox might finish the tank good and that tank could be finished off by helicopters but I want the V2s get rid it's very important to get rid of the V2s we don't need them uh, my MCV escaping look trying to as he stopped the enemy look like they've stopped um, there we go picking off a V2 look before his infantry can catch up and get out of there. They've got an excellent view range, the Black Hawk, so they are ideal hunters. Oh, and I've turned back and he ran into them, look. What a shame. Yeah, I'm a bit surprised that I wasn't uh, ex like aware of uh, units behind me like that, because they were sh pursuing me. Maybe I didn't see them, wasn't paying attention. There's no barracks close by, but... I should still be, yeah, capture, I should still be doing that, repairing it. Yeah, I can't build a barracks nearby without an MCV either. I've been okay for cash, but what I needed was to spend that cash instead. Needed seven barracks and to not mess up my infantry production. There uh, you go, I'm picking off the V2 with the artillery. Uh, I mean with my helicopters, and now I'm targeting uh, rocket troops as best I can. And that's with one rocket trooper left, they made it. Selling up, getting the ore trucks out. Those troops, I shouldn't send them. Too few. But I can take out these tanks, and we've got a para drop, and I'm in low power now. Sadly, low power mode. Yeah, here we go. Look, paratroopers. There's two rocket launchers and three riflemen, but they cut. They are dropped as veterans, being paratroopers. They're elite, and I thought, right, I'll just gun them down with a pillbox. Why not? Um, I've got credits and nothing to. I can't spend them quick enough. Like I say, not enough barracks. You need seven quickly, and I've been operating on three, which is why I've had money. Look, I've got six, six grand, seven hundred stacked up. That's that's terrible. And uh, check, I'm in low power, so that's even worse. But I've got a five grand army. My opponent's got a twenty-one thousand value army. So you know, this is the final, uh, final moments. This is looking terrible. Yeah, if I was my opponent, I'd group everything together and go for a big smash here. And then he, even if he knows that's where I'll focus my units, it wouldn't matter. He knows, he'd hope that I'll focus my units. That's what I'd be doing anyway. Hope I've focused them there and just smash. Because I've got, t he's got tanks and I haven't. That's enough alone. And he's got V2s as well. I'm not sure why he'd back off there. There's no need. There you see, yeah, he knows. There's no need to back away. I'm beaten. He, that should make it clear to him that I've uh, been beaten down. I am moving spies and engineers, but, you know, this is... Uh, what can we do? I'm going to... I've got an MCV. Still mining. Oh, his troops have cleared out. Look, my engineer. I was trying to capture the refinery. His troops have killed it. And there we go. He's burning through my base. 
Um, my spies there might get an infiltration. I'm still better off than my opponent for credits, though. Yeah, got nearly a grand out of that That one. He's using a spy plane, and I don't know why. Why would he do that? It's his own, He's got view range there. Maybe it was a misclick, and he wanted uh, paratroopers, perhaps. Um, let's see, yeah, the V2's working. There goes my um, radar dome, so no more tech units. I did replace a war factory late on, and I managed to produce an artillery piece because I had the radar dome. But well, there we go. And is he coming straight for me? Yes, he knows. I'd send uh, stuff up here just to make sure that... I, and I can't believe I didn't know about that. But the map's new to me and it was massive. And, you know, I was under a lot of pressure, so I was struggling. I just didn't know uh, all the little features and a couple of little things went against me. But, uh, like I say, it was a really good game for allies' practice. Any uh, practice at the long game with allies is good for me and get to use a little bit of tech and in future when I'm more competent and capable and I'm better with them then I can start employing all the tech levels like I do with Soviets I'll use uh, Tesla units and Iron Curtain quite often things like that and I need to get to the level where I can do the same with allies and employ their um, uh, what you call it, the mobile radar jammers and things like that, Tanya, phase transports, they're uh, the really elite allied units because a mobile radar jammer has a small circle around it and rockets can't hit your troops within that circle so anyone, any of your units within that circle, enemy rockets will veer away. So um, rocket enemy rockets are just ineffective within the circle of a radar jammer, a mobile radar jammer. So it's uh, they're very effective units to keep your frontline engagements and win the win the games because if you the enemy's rockets are the main damage dealers and look here we go he's caught me caught my army while I was pressing my attack and I nearly captured the refinery but not quite the MCV is going to leave but no he's being pursued and that's a strong army following me. 36,000 army value, very nice. Yeah. And uh, there you go, he's got an extra MCV up there. But that's it. And look at the final score, 8,037 to my opponent. Uh, no, sorry, 18. Uh, 1,837 was my opponent's final score. And my final score was 1,816. So, 1,837 to 1,816 is a very close game, and it's a large score, that one. It's a good one. So, we'll look at the graphs and stats. Uh, as the army graph. Look, yeah, I'm slowly decreasing in strength, desperately struggling. And my opponent, he's got a few spikes, but, yeah, he's increasing in strength until he just, yeah, takes off. So, there's the army graph. That shows you exactly what we saw. Uh, here's the earnings graph. A couple of spikes in earnings, uh, bits and pieces. Not too bad, but I just I couldn't spend it. I was uh, made a few mistakes at um, you know at the point where I should have had structures built and that. So I was making mistakes earlier than I realised, I guess. But there's the earnings graph. Uh, his finishing army. He's got aircraft, artillery, uh, V2s, heavy tanks, and plenty of troops. Uh, here's the combat chart. My opponent killed 573. I killed 388. So, uh, yeah, he killed a bit more than me. My opponent killed 189,000 value of assets. I killed 128,000 value assets. And he ended up with a 38,000 army value. Support powers. He's got paratroopers ready ready to use, and he's got a spy plane ticking down, because he's got an airfield. His production, he's only building infantry at this moment. Uh, economy, three ore trucks left, so I did kill a fair few. I did get uh, a nice amount of kills on, uh, I'm not sure, it must have been up, no, no, I think it was here where I, I caught like at least three ore trucks with a little eco raid. So there's the economy chart. My opponent earned 195, I earned 194. 
It's just, yeah, real shame I couldn't spend it. I've still got five grand left. But uh, basics, my actions per minute were 32. My opponent's actions per minute were 43. Um, there's the basics. Let's just have a look at structures. My opponent lost 12. I lost 55. Very nice. Yeah. So there's your stats and graphs, charts, everything. Um, that was definitely a good battle and great for the long game practice for allies for me. That was uh, that's definitely one plus side to this game. It's always a shame when you don't win the really good long games. You know, obviously it's better to win, but fair play to my opponent. He played extremely well, and a couple of little minor errors on my part compounded my um, you know my slight disadvantages. Um, you know, I shouldn't, uh, it was a new map to me in uh, France, I shouldn't, I should have used a better faction, but I did mess up my, uh, my not having seven barracks was a big mistake, and that left me at a disadvantage for, a, a, you know, the rest of the game. It was a bit of a mistake, and it may have maintained my money because of low infantry production, but it just meant I didn't, I sh you need to spend the money when you've got it, and then you can make use of the assets as you will, but you need them there, so it was a real shame. I left myself at a real disadvantage not having seven barracks. So it just, uh, you know, didn't do me any favours, that one. But uh, it was a very good game and good for the Allied long game practice, like I say. But I want to start to add more tech assets, like uh, not go too far and overdo it because I haven't fully got fully competent at this level yet with France. But uh, I just add maybe one or two more tech, more assets above this uh, this radar dome tech level. Because, um, you know, I can handle artillery and helicopters and spies and mechanics. I'm, I'm okay. I'm learning. But I think I'll try and add another asset. And it'll probably be a, a phase transport or a mobile radar jammer. Just start to get one of those into play for some benefit. And without going overboard and getting loads of different tech assets and draining my eco, my economy, too much. Just uh, take it easy and introduce one or two tech assets at a time. So um, we'll keep an eye on that and my allied training progress and see how that goes. But uh, if you like what this game, enjoyed the video, please give us a sub and a like. And I hope my viewers enjoyed this one, because I did. It was a good game. And um, take good care of yourselves. And for now, everyone, um, goodbye. Battle control. Terminated.